Greetings person currently watching this, and welcome back to Fight the Dragon. So, let's get started because it is ridiculously hot in my room right now, and I don't feel like sweating to death. So, Sunken Tower. The final leg of the journey. The treasure at the top of this tower is so close, now you can smell it. So if, if I can smell the treasure, then that's probably not a good thing. But I doubt the old mages that built this place will have left it easy to ascend. Probably not. I doubt it, they're dicks like that. Alright, so let's get a little wand out because I like it a lot. It, it does work. Um, please don't be an arena type thing. I don't think you will be. A rotted tone. What do you say? The book, like all the others here, is dry, rotted, and unreadable. Okay. So, don't read any tomes at all because they're all going to be dry, rotted. Apparently. That or it means like these up here on the bookshelves. Which, yeah, I can see. Alright, uh, no. Mm hmm. Alright, so far, absolutely nothing is happening. Oh, hello? Okay, we need to go this way instead. There's a chest at least. I mean, that's something, I suppose. Oh, hello, I saw you. Alright, so what did that open? What did that open? That gate back there, maybe? Oh, ah, the way down. That's what that opened. Yep, that's where that opened. Alright, cool, so now we go through the door. And get on the other side, I'm guessing. No, it's a lever. Hmm, okay. Kind of doesn't really seem to be necessary. But, you know, we'll, we'll roll with it. Because I have a feeling I know where this is going to lead. And if it does... Oh, of all the things to fight, why you? Just die. Go. Ah, crap. I hate when they go up there like that. I really wish they would make it so they don't do that, because that is really obnoxious. Because I don't think you can hit them up there, like, at, uh, at all. So you kind of just have to wait for them to float their way back down. There we go. Alright, so is this going where I think it's... Yeah, so other than, other than fighting that shade, there was absolutely no reason in doing all that stuff I just did. Alright, yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, no, not really, not at all. I really wish you wouldn't have done that, and I... I don't hate you for it, because hate's too strong of a word. It's just I really wish you wouldn't have. Old cracked log. Beringer, here's the key for the training room as you asked. The wards for the new admittees, the ones who pass anyway, are in the storeroom upstairs. The storeroom key has been placed as a reward for passing the test as you asked. It will also open the door to uh, the door yo the dormitory sure why not cool so can I no I want the there we go all right so can we go through here no we need blue key all right so then we need to search for this blue key apparently all right let's see going up the stairs so this take us all right, so that's a checkpoint so I'm guessing yeah we can go through there all right we won't go through there just yet let's explore over here there's nothing oh I didn't want to do that. Can I jump it? Yeah. You didn't even try. All right, never mind. So we go through the door. All right. Into I think an arena. Against a uh, minotaur. No bad minotaur. Bad bad minotaur. Don't do that. Let's keep. Wait. Oh yeah, I got a new weapon. Um, the, the staff. It's new. It's not our old uh, staff. So use it a bit. Uh, one. Darn it. I wanted to use it before he got that off, but I kind of fit, uh, hesitated. Don't hesitate, people. Don't think about doing things, just do it. That's, yeah, advice for me. Because, you know, that's probably horrible advice and don't follow it. Ah, ha, ha, dodged it. Aha, game mechanics working in my favor, not yours. Suck it, Minotaur. Yee. Ow. Okay, I'll keep my mouth shut. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. You just gotta be light on your feet. Can't be all lead-footed, like you can with a warrior. Oh, cool, blue key. Excellent. Well, that was simplistic enough. So what was the red key for? Open this door? Is that all it did? It looks like that's all it did. I'm guessing that's all it did. All right, whatever, we can go in this room now. So that's cool. All right, in through here. All right, some chests, that's good. No, I didn't want to, no, let me back, let me back. Cool. All right, now we can progress. There we go. Alright, so now I'm gonna open. No! Stupid stairs. Okay, so. 
Nope. Pick up this. We're going to do it nice and slow like so I don't accidentally press the wrong button. And there we are. Alright, so I'm guessing this is level 2. Okay, I unlocked you with the blue key so I can go up there if I wanted to. Let's not do that just yet. Let's. Okay, it's just the other side. Alright, yeah, that works. Alright, so up the stairs. Another arena I'm willing to bet. Like level two of this test. Okay, can't get in there without the green key. Alright, so I'm guessing we need to go this way to acquire this green key. Oh, hello. Faded Diary. I can't believe Bopper is pulling this prank now. He's hidden the key to the bathhouse and mess hall somewhere. The war front is growing ever closer. We are under huge pressure to graduate and join the effort. And now we can't even pee. The instructors will blame all of us if they find out. So I've locked all the dorm rooms and hidden the key in the back of this book? If he won't turn over the key, he won't even have his bed to sleep in. Ha! He can't hold out for long. What I don't get is where he hid it. He's a great summoner, but he's terrible at teleportation. The bathhouse lo only locks from the inside. How did he lock it and get out? What's more, without access to the mess hall, we can't even reach the training halls. Okay. So apparently somebody hid some keys, and I'm probably going to have to end up going and finding them. Um, well, let me guess, you're... No, you're not. Okay, well, I had a feeling that it was going to be that, you know, they were in his room. But no, they're not. Alright, so that was a huge waste of time for absolutely no real gain, because money isn't crap in this game. Seriously, it doesn't have much worth. I don't think it even gives you very much when you uh, use it for prayer, and that's all you can do. You can only all you can do is sacrifice it, and even then, it doesn't do much of anything. I heard from my dad today. He says the war is going worse than most know. The enemy is already at the city gates. The king has ordered the mages to take or make a massive summon of some sort. My father is just a soldier and couldn't explain it all, but it sounds like a desperate final plan. If the mages don't perform it perfectly. It may mean the end of both armies. I see, I see. Yes, that, again, following the usual way of things. The war, you know, over ambitious king. War went south for him. He had, once again, proving that he was an over ambitious king. He had one final daring plan that failed miraculous, spectacularly. Both miraculously and, well, not miraculously, I mean, it's no surprise. But also spectacularly. Oh no! Spider ambush because he hasn't done this to us before or anything. Oh crap. Wow, they're really chewing through me. Okay, um, roll, roll. You s can't roll when you're webbed, apparently. Oh, water, 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 water. Yeah. Get all that refreshing life water all up in my system. If I could hit. Alright, hold on, let me. There we go. Don't have to worry about no stupid crap. Just teleport my bullets to you. All right, so we're going to heal up a bit, get our health topped off in these uh, lovely rejuvenating fountain waters that somehow still work even after everything else has fallen to rotten rust in this place. Okay, so I'm guessing we can get through here the same way. No. All right. Still, we have the silver key, which means we can get through that big door on the other side, which I think is the mess hall. Oh, we already went... Th yeah, that was where the dude said that things were going south. All right, so still, we can get to the mess hall now. Wait, can we get through this door? This is the door that can be... Yeah, this is the door that can be gone through. We're not going to do that yet, because I... Wait. No, there wasn't. No, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm confused. This big door over here is the door we're supposed to be going through. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, it's a golem this time, which is different than a minotaur by some way. There we go. That really hurt him, I think. I like to think. Ooh. I don't summon your friends. Actually, you know what? This time I don't have to move, please. Okay. This time I don't have to really worry about his little minions because I can just teleport my round, you know, damage to him. Yep. Just gonna try and dodge roll our way through that. I'm trying to get the ice cubes. Uh, ice cubes, please. Not the ice cubes, but just as effective, I think. Seem to do a bit of damage. Oh crap! Just trying to avoid getting smacked by him because he hits ridiculously hard. I remember that from my warrior. There we go. Okay, move past his attack. Actually, let's just use this because it's quite effective too and it costs less rage. 
It's actually very, very effective. Uh, nope. There we go. Yeah. All right. Get him some more. Ah. Yeah, there we go. Got rid of this little thing. And, okay, it's gonna still be a while, though. Ah, oh, he summoned more crap. I was hoping he wouldn't summon more because I didn't feel like having to fight anything after him, but looks like I'm gonna to anyways. Oh, wait, I can do this, and it should really rough him up. Yeah, that works. I'm glad with that. All right, cool. So they're dead. That's nice and all. And I got some piddly little gold as a reward for such. So what is the next trial and tribulation? If there is one, I'm willing to bet there is. Looks like a room of some sort, probably with a puzzle of some form in it. All right, we have one pillar with one lever. Is there any other levers we can pull? It looks like a maze. It looks like a maze involving levers. Okay, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, I see. It's a puzzle. I've now figured this out. Push. Or pull. pull. But you know what I mean. Okay, so... So it's opened up a way somewhere. We just need to figure out where. Let's do a bit more sprinting. That'll probably help. Okay. Here. It opened up this way. Yes, it did. Alright, so... Hmm. Hmm. So is this going to be a whole lot of running back and forth? So I'm not in the mood for that. Did you do anything? Did you just open that? Oh, you opened this one. Okay. Okay, and that did nothing, I think. Ah, uh, maybe I had to do this. Okay, that opens up this one. Uh, you're gonna have me do, like, com trying out combinations of crap, aren't you? I'm willing to bet what it's gonna be. You gotta, like, do this. Maybe. Possibly. Yeah, see? That's what it's gonna be about. Okay, yeah, that's... This is gonna be fun. Well, you know, the usual rules. Alright, that locked me out. But yeah, you know the usual rules. If it ends up taking me too long to do this, I will just jump cut to when I finish it. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, they're all open. But can I? Yes, I can. Haha. -ha! All right, cool, victorious. Still have no idea what I did. But you know, I solved the puzzle. So, um, yay me. All right, so another boss. I wonder what this one's gonna be. Probably a necromancer. That or an elemental. That's usually what they end up throwing at me. Okay, we'll open these just to open them. I don't really need anything inside of them, but, you know, it's nice to have them open. I'm gonna take, actually, before we go any further, I'm gonna take a couple swigs of this, pick up a couple of those. So we go into this fight, max power. Alright, bring it on! Yeah! Alright, uh, not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Do it again! Why am I not hitting the ogre? Do it better. Do it one more time. Yeah. Now we kind of just kite them around. Oh. And eventually we kind of whittle away at their HP. Until there's nothing left of them. Which is... Oh. Holy cow. Here we go. Alright. Let's take out this weak one. If I can. Keep forgetting. Yes. Um. That's... Keep forgetting that if you ever play this game. Don't dodge roll and hold down attack. Because if you do that, your guy kind of strikes this little pose. Yeah, I believe he does. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Sometimes when you dodge roll, your guy will... He won't, like... He'll stop at the end of the dodge roll and just kind of sit there motionless for a few seconds. That's what I mean when I say he's striking a pose. Because at least that's what I hope he's doing. At least he's doing something productive with that whole, you know, not moving and being useful to the fight thing. He's at least trying to look good and not just being entirely worthless. There we go. Now it's just me and the big guy. So I'm going to use the uh, ice cubes on the big guy. There we go. Actually, let's use this on the big guy. We'll use the, uh, that. Uh, I'm not too sure which one does more. Well, I guess if you think about it, the, uh, our new ability does more than the ice cubes would because, ooh, because of the simple fact that I can cast it more times. 
you know, with the ice cubes, I think it might do about 200 damage, but I can only use it once, whereas that, you know, if, even if the ice cubes do like 300 damage, I can still cast that one that does 200 damage four times, as opposed to, oh, are you kidding me? Uh, something in my gut told me this is what he was going to do, but I was hoping he wouldn't be that guy. But no, he's that map maker. And by that map maker, I mean he's the map maker that made an arena. I despise these things. You never, you're like, I don't know if I've ever showed you one on camera. I don't think I ever did, because they're so incredibly boring that I wouldn't want you guys to suffer through the boringness that is those arenas. Because it's just this. You just run around, whacking at things. Until eventually, you either die enough to, you know, get final death or whatever they call it, or you kill everything. But it's, it's just this. You know? That. Hit him a couple times, dodge roll away, maybe sprint away if you're feeling frisky. Which, this is a minotaur, so that was a completely horrible idea. But, you know, it's just that. Over and over and over for, like, 150 mobs. And there's no... And the thing is, is with those arenas, it's not like, you know, oh, you cleared this room, now move on to the next. No, it's... You fight 150 mobs in this one freaking square, then you move on to the next square, which looks almost identical, and you find 150 more. Apparently that's fun. There we go. And one more. Do it. And there's more. Of course there's more. There's always more. You're never content with just give me one wave, are you? And there's warriors. Just great. They're sentinel statues, whatever. Living armor. Just use that thing on them and hope they die. Alright, continuing on with our little arena here. Okay, so we can do it again. And it didn't hit the... Oh, it, it kind of hit the warrior a little bit, like a glancing blow. There we go. Ooh, okay, good. I was able to dodge that. That's good. Oh, um, nope. And it still hit him, so hey, whatever, I'm fine with that. Alright, we'll wait you. Now for you. There we go. And now for the big guy. Hopefully you're the only one left. Ah, Stupid frog. Ow. Ah, no, you don't. Don't you dare do that. Don't need to be hit by a stupid skeleton today. There we go. He's almost done. There he goes. Now it's just me. Yeah, now it's definitely just me in the armor. So, if anything, I just gotta keep hitting him. At least, you know, dodge roll and then hit him. So that way I know I'm looking directly at him. So when I fire my little uh, level 1 spell, it will hit him. Okay, like that. Do it again one more time for good measure, just because I can. And, oh, keep on going. Excellent. More. Why? Why more? Can you tell that I'm not pleased with this? There's a long list of things that I'd rather do right now. Like, very, very long. I mean, I would rather play, you know, I'd rather... To be No, to be honest, I'd rather be playing Resident Evil 6 right now. And Resident Evil 6 is the worst game I've ever played. But at least in that game, I'd be making some actual, tangible, like, visual progress. I'm not just sitting in a room fighting this random, you know, just every mob in the game. I'm not sitting in some boring square fighting every mob in this game over and over until the map maker gets tired of spawning in mobs and lets me leave. Whatever, it's just me and Skeleton King now. And no, I'm not doing any Diablo references because I'm not in the mood because the map maker took me out of that mood. I hope you're pleased with yourself, map maker. This is what you've done. Alright, so, uh, thing. There we go. And then thing again. There we go. And then another thing. Yeah. And we'll do this again. Because I think if I can at least get him near the explosion, it'll do substantially more damage. At least I'd like to think that that explosion does substantially more damage. I mean, it would make it worth it. There. Finally. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, that was a colossal waste of time that I really wish I didn't have to have wasted. But, hey, whatever. It, it happened. So, is there another arena in my future? Or do I get to go home now? Because I kind of want to go home to my little cabin and watch some cable TV and not be here dealing with mages and their the hubers well it's really not really the hubers of the mages it's more of just the mages doing anything in order to try and please their overconfident king which I can understand that I mean to us it might be kind of a, like a strange and foreign concept but fire elementals I'm gonna have to fight one elemental after another aren't I 
This is gonna be lovely jubbly. No, you don't. Alright, let's uh, do this and then do this if I can. Uh, can I back it up a little bit so I can try and get him in the... No, I can't. There we go, get him in the explosion. Really rough him up. Probably shouldn't waste all these on just him, but I don't care at this point. Kind of just want this to end quickly. Alright, there. Actually, yeah, I have a lot more range than he does. So if anything, I just need to keep these guys at extreme range while I have this wand. Don't know if that's going to be possible. Ow. You and your little aim botting ways. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be possible, but with them being in the middle of the room and stuff, I'd probably have to kite him to one end and then run to the other. Ooh, can I corner snipe him? Nope. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No exploding ice thingies on me, even though that should probably do less damage when you think about it. All right, um, can I move? There we go. Do the thing. There we are. Uh, I can do it again. All right, cool. Yeah. Ah, uh, didn't freeze him. Did not freeze him. Oh, crap. All right, there we are. And just kind of keep this up. How much HP you got left, big boy? Eh, not that much. I can just kind of wail on you. There we go. And the last one. Hopefully last one. Willing to bet it's not. There we go. Uh, you know what? Screw it. May as well. Ow. That hurt. Okay. There we go. Cool. Really rough some up. Oh, wait. I still have more. Uh, may as well. There we go. Back it up a bit. So I can try to get him in the middle of the explosion. There we are. And do it again. Just for old time's sake. Oh, I can do it again. Ah, crap. There we go. And there's one more? It's the... You already threw the golem at me, man. What the heck? Why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta be that guy? Nobody likes that guy. That's why that guy never gets invited to parties. Seriously, have you ever, like, looked at a list of, like... You know, like, have you ever gone to a party that had a guest list? Or, like, you know, you were in charge of making sure only the people on the guest lists got into the party, and you saw the name that guy? No, you haven't. And do you know why you've never seen that? Because that guy never gets invited to parties. That's why. Okay. So, he at least killed his little things, but I'm sure he's gonna summon more, because that's what he does. He's a summoner, you know, he's just one of those guys. Either way, we're gonna... No, 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 move, you stupid frog lock thing that I created. I created you, and even I don't know what you are. There we go. Alright, so... You ever think... You, know, you ever wonder if... You know, like a... If, I always... I wonder if a game... If that's ever happened where a game designer's done that. You know, like they were in charge of creating some sort of like new species. And they kind of just slopped some things together and was like, You know what? Screw it. Good enough. Or like, if it's just like at the... You know, they spent like a whole bunch of time creating this creature. You know, coding it and 3D rendering it and just... You know, just all this time and effort. And at the end of it, they just sit back and they look at what they create and they're just like, what was I thinking? You know, just like, geez, what was I thinking when I made this? Was I high? <sighs> really? Okay, no, this is, okay, no, this is getting a freaking downvote. No, at this point, you're just trying to earn that freaking downvote now. Now I kind of want to go back and downvote all the maps just because this last one is so freaking obnoxious. Seriously, was that your was that your plan? Let's just make the most obnoxious level I possibly can do? Oh, my goodness. You are officially in, like, my least favorite map creator out of all the map creators I've ever done maps of. It's like, serious, it's like he, he, it's like he ran out of ideas of what to do, so he's like, hey, I'm gonna make this player fight everything he's fought already all over again. That's how I'm gonna milk this map. Whatever, just freaking do this. Hope it does some good amount of damage to him. Yeah, I'm about to get the crap kicked out of me, probably. Ugh. Oh, great. Yeah, the big freaking thing's in the way. He's gonna take all my freaking health with one punch. Okay, I slinked away. That's kind of nice and all. Um, there. That's what I wanted to do. Not hit the stupid little... Okay, good. Big... The fire mage is down, so at least that's one headache gone, but I still got, like, what, four or six of them. Uh, 
and I gotta deal with these little things that he's just gonna keep summoning, so there's no reason to fight him. It's just like with the skeletons when you fight the Necromaster, there's no reason to kill him. You just kite around them. You try to fight around them until you can kill the thing that spawns them in. And then you start picking them off. There. Alright. We're doing good at least. We still have a few extra health potions should we need them. I wish we wouldn't need them, but I know we're gonna because these guys just, you know... Can you please move? There. Alright, I'm get over here. Yeah, they're just gonna keep doing that at me. Well, it looks like they kind of nerfed down how much damage that does, so that's a bright spot. I take out this little... Actually, no, we're not even gonna take out that little... Uh, he's summoned... Of course he's summoned more. There we go. So we're gonna focus on him, because right now he's being body blocked by the corpses of the two ele or three elementals. So we can kind of just do this. I mean, yeah, he's gonna keep summoning adds, but at least he can't attack us. And the thing is, if we keep fighting our, his adds, he'll just keep summoning more. So may as well kill him and then go after his stupid adds. How are you blocking? There, we done. Did you did you get did you finally get bored of or tired? Did your finger finally get tired of pressing the spawn here button? No more fighting? Good. Get on with my life. Hello oh, Chuck. I was about to say hello, random person, but no, that's Chuck. That's uh Alright, what are you gonna betray the crap out of me or something? Yes, 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 loot explosion. Alright. You know, I have to say, you know, I, I guess, you know, it was explained to me, and I kind of understand, you know, they, they made it the five gold increments, so that way it looks like it's just a never-ending river of gold flowing to you. But the thing is, is it's only five gold, and, you know, like, five gold increments. It's like if you went to the store, and you bought, like, that jumbo pack of beef jerky, and then you open it up, and there's not even a third of the, you know, there's, it's not even a third of the way full with jerky. It's, you know, it's just, it's, it's a disappointment. It's, it's just kind of like, you know, the rest of the bag is just a reminder of the jerky that was wrongfully taken from you by the company. It's the same thing here. You see all these piles of gold flowing at you, and it's only five gold increments. It's either like, wow, thanks for wasting my time, game developers, or it's just like, so where's the rest of the gold that you should have given me? Because it feels like you should have given me more. All right, hey, Chuck, what's up? Boss, you did it! I can hardly believe it! I mean... If anyone could do it, it was you. But still. Well, I hope the riches are all you hoped for. No, not at all. I feel hollow inside. And slightly angry. A little bit hungry. Don't suppose you'd be looking to retire with all that gold, would you? Nope. I don't retire. Adventurers don't retire. We just keep adventuring until eventually we die. And then our um, surviving relatives fight. Like, it's tooth and nail for uh, our ill-gotten gains. Just kidding, you boss. I know the settled down life ain't for you. Even though I did get... No, actually, Rhubarb isn't the one that got married. Our warrior, or the fighter, is the one that got married. But maybe you could use a little rest back home after that anyways. Right? Yes, we shall go home, which was probably burned down by orcs, I don't remember. And we'll spend all this gold, which will thus create us... Give, you know, thus create another reason for us to continue adventuring. So yeah, no, dislike. And the only reason why is because you threw two freaking arenas at me. I would have... I would have much rather enjoyed... A bunch of hallways with random books that had excerpts telling a story that I don't really care all that much about, but was still kind of interesting, than sitting in a room for probably more than 10 minutes fighting elementals. Either way, I'm going to end the episode here because I am way, way over time, but still, I hope you enjoyed the episode as much as I did. Bye!